guys, today I'm going to show you how to do the simple pop a blue eye and nude glossy lip tutorial. I'm going to start by using Benefit's Professional Primer. My face has already been moisturized and ready to go. This is a really good primer. I really like it. I'm next going to start by using this Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. I like this because it has 30 SPF and it gives a tint of coverage and color. For my brows, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the medium brown. And for the dip brow pomade, it's the color soft brown. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in number 12. This gives me the perfect sculpt and fill in that I need. My eyebrows are pretty thick already, so I just need to fill them in a little bit. Next, going to take this MAC Soft Ochre Pink Pot. I'm going to be using the Sigma F70 brush to apply it, making sure to get it all over the lid. It's a good base for our eyeshadow. Oh, my nose itched, and I figured my brows were good to go. I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, and then I'm going to apply this shade Skimp all over the lid with the Tarte Double Ended Eyeshadow Brush. This can set the Soft Ochre Paint Pot just so the rest of the eyeshadows can have a smooth canvas to work on. And then I'm going to take my E40 brush and apply the shade Zone to my crease, making sure to work this from outer to inner all the way through. Now I'm going to take my Sigma E55 brush and apply the shade Bathwater to my lid. If you notice me holding the brush oddly, it's because I have lash extensions. Now using my C429 crown brush, I'm going to take the shade Punk and apply it into the crease. I like this brush because it gives a really distinct crease defined look. And now for the face, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation using my Beauty Blender to blend that out. And if you notice me looking to my right, it's because my mirror was right there. That's why I get so close to the camera. And yes, my eyes are open. I just have really little eyes, so they always look close. For concealer, I'm going to be using Tarte's Rainforest so the C Aqua Concealer in the shade Light. I'm going to be applying it like little angel wings on my face. Um, I also like to use it on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my tiny forehead, and um, the bottom of my nose, and on my chin. Just to highlight, balance out the color areas. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I like to use this brush because with my Beauty Blender, I feel like it takes a lot of the product. And I like to use patting motions to really get it sunk in my skin. For baking and setting those highlighted areas, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And after I let that set for a little bit, I'm going to use this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Micro Powder. And to blend that all in, I'm going to be using my Sigma F30 brush. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronze. And to apply, I'm going to be using the Sigma F50 brush. Got to bring some color back into that white base. To contour the nose, I'm going to use the Luxie 512 brush using the same bronzer. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour in the shade Sin. I'm going to apply it using my Duo Fiber Crown Brush. For my Cupid's Bow, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Contour Brush with the same highlighter just to bring attention to those lips. For blush, I'm going to be using Max Mineralize in the shade Warm Soul, and I'm going to be using the Max 187SH brush. Now going back to my eyes, I'm going to take my Luxie 229 brush and go back into the shade Punk. I didn't get it as dark as I wanted as the first time, so I'm just going to add some more to really deepen that crease. 
just blend, blend, and blend some more. Now for that pop of blue, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Baby Tea. And I'm only going to be doing this on my bottom lash, and I'm going to be applying it with my Real Techniques smudge brush. All the way from side to side. Don't you just love the faces we make when we apply makeup? I mean, really. I'm now going to be taking the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Liner and the shade Midnight. And I'm just going to apply this to my waterline on the bottom lashes. Going back to that Urban Decay highlighter, I'm going to apply it to my inner corners and a little bit to the tops of my eyebrows just to give it that extra pop. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. I know you're not supposed to wear mascara with lash extensions, but I am because some of them are coming out and I don't want it to look uneven or have chunks missing. For lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in the color Natural. I'm not going to overline, I'm just going to fill this in, give it a good base for the liquid lipstick we're going to be using. For that liquid lipstick, it's going to be Kat Von D's Everlasting in the shade Bow and Arrow. Perfect nude shade, especially for my skin tone. And to finish the lips, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Artist Plexiglass in the shade 301P. And to set all this makeup, I'm going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my first video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. See you next time.